Welcome back. Horticulture expert Kelly McGowan joins us this midday. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. You're here to talk about something that I'm so excited we have the opportunity to talk about. You know, we've been covering extensively in both news and weather. We've had nine tornadoes confirmed, lots of damage out there, even from straight line winds. And we've got lots of our trees that are just torn apart. So you're here to help yeah. us figure out what, what now what? What do we do with these trees um, yeah. that are damaged? Yeah, well, the, the first uh, tip that I would have for people is, is to just be patient. Of course, you know, get any uh, storm damage cleaned up, but you don't have to make um, a really quick decision about your tree, whether it needs to come out or stay. Uh, trees have a really um, great ability to heal themselves um, from damage, so you don't have to make a decision right away about whether to remove a tree. Just wait um, and see if it can recover on its own. What, I guess, is there a threshold? How would we know if it's too damaged for that recovery? Well, it depends on how much of the tree has been, um, you know, damaged in the storm, um, if there's trunk damage. Uh, we have a really good extension guide that people can download from free from our website that kind of gives you a self-evaluation tool for your tree to help determine if it needs to come out or stay. It kind of compares, see yes. what damage you've got and yes. if it's fixable. Yes. Um, how should we go about, you know, you were mentioning um, some tree services coming around yeah. and, and trying to get rid of the trees. Do you have any advice for people going about that? Yeah, well, my, my biggest piece of advice is don't fall victim to a scam. Unfortunately, we, we hear about it after every big storm, people going door to door, um, offering to do tree removal. They're not uh, reputable businesses, and a lot of times it can be a scam. So don't fall victim to a scam. If you need to hire someone to do tree care, make sure it's a reputable company. Make sure that it's a certified arborist. Um, so just please don't fall victim to a scam after all of the tornadoes this week. And like you said, make sure you need it because some of these can be kind of patched up and taped up and these trees are stronger than we think sometimes. There's, there's things we can do, yes. <laughs> and be careful with chainsaws. Be right? careful with chainsaws. <laughs> if you're not experienced with a chainsaw, you know, be very, very careful using uh, equipment you're not familiar with. Right. Okay, yeah. perfect. If you have questions for Kelly, you can give her a phone call at that number. Uh, you'll also have some of those guides at extension.missouri.edu. Yes. Thank you so much for your Thank tips, you. Kelly. We will be right back right after the break.